Prahanda, the Marta Yate, or the Marta Dai in Zambia. But, uh, good evening, this is our second uh, day in Zambia and our first video blog. So we're just going to talk about what we did in Zambia today. Uh, my name is Jason. Hello! My name's Tom. Hi, I'm Shawnee. Um, this is our first day training and we're just going to tell you what we've done. It's quarter to eight on Friday the 11th of March 2011. So today we went to the St. John headquarters and we took the members of St. John there and also the kids from the local school. We had an awesome time, learned some new training skills from them and they also learned a lot from us. You know, there, was a, there, was, there wasn't any divide, we all got on and we all flowed as one big team, as any member of St. John would. It was a bit nervous to start off with with the training, uh, but our confidence seemed to grow as, as the afternoon went on, teaching different things. I mean, I personally taught how to do the cover position and choking, which was really, really fun. I met loads of new people, met like loads of new Zambian friends, yay! Which was really cool. Um, and I especially liked the opening ceremony this morning. That was just amazing when the band started playing, and especially when the Africans started singing, I was just like, oh, this is really cool. You don't get any of this back home. It's just amazing. Proper culture shock. Um, I taught St. John members in Zambia and um, we did it on CPR mainly and choking. And they had lots of loads of questions to ask. They were really interesting. It was a really big culture shock. I got to teach members of a local school in the headquarters and um, they, were, they were like sponges. They absorbed everything you said, they were on every last word. And when you asked them to demonstrate, they knew what they were doing because they were on the edge of their seats listening, which is absolutely amazing. And when we were starting to wrap up, the teacher thanked us, you know, for, for coming along and hoped that there would be more, you know, interaction with their school in St John, you know, and uh, we also liaised with the members of St John who were with us as well, and they were discussing, you know, visits and trips to their classrooms. I also like the fact as well that when we started, uh, when we finished training in our school, it was a very well, uh, poor school, it wasn't a very modern, up to date school out here. Uh, the head teacher came up to us and said that he was starting a first aid club, and that really meant a lot to us after, after training. So, and they're, they're all really, really grateful for what we're doing. I mean, they're all really kind, and it's just amazing how, how you know, it's just mind blowing. Once we finished our training, um, to say thank you, they all decided they were going to show us how to dance and um, they included us in it as well. It was really interesting to take part in. Uh, at the end of our session, uh, we had one big massive photo with, uh, with myself and the other trainer, Ryan, which was, which was a great memory to hold on to. And uh, I'm not surprised that you will get the photo of it as well. Uh, we'll all be on the St John website. Um, you know, one thing that was, that was amazing was that, you know, the St. John Zambia, they are so, everybody takes it very, very serious, not in a bad way, but in a good way. It's such a big community uplift to see St. John out and about in their local communities, helping with local charities and schools. Um, it's at such an amazing atmosphere and, you know, you can see the public really appreciate the work that St. John Zambia do, you know, in and around their areas. See you soon, guys. Ta-da!